Welcome to Omron's Quick Tip Videos. Today I'll be adding additional local I.O. to the NX1P offline using SysMac Studio. This will allow me to develop my program even without the hardware and then when the hardware comes in I can then download the configuration. The hardware that I'll be using today is shown here. You'll notice that the items in red with asterisk require an I.O. power supply unit such as an NXPF 0630 for the local I.O. This chart here shows when you are required to have an NXPF unit for local I.O. for the NX1P. You'll notice the columns on the left require the NXPF unit and the ones on the right do not require the NXPF unit. I've opened up SysMac Studio and I'm going to create a new project and my controller is an NX1P2 and the model that I have is 9024 DT1 which is 24 IO unit 14 in 10 out with PNP outputs. I'm going to go to configuration and go to my CPU rack and I'm going to add my IO. I've got an NX PF unit the 0630, I'll double click on there and it automatically adds it over here to the left. Next I have an ID 3417, I'll add that. Then I have an ID 4442, and I'll add that. And then I'll add a 3343. And then I have an AD 4608. And then I have an OC 2633. OD 3257 and an OD 5256. And here's my I.O. here. Next I'll go to the I.O. map and I'll create my device variables. And the device variables will allow me to program these I.O. in my PLC. So I'll do my local I.O. here for my PLC and then I'll do my local NX I.O. that I've just added. Next I'll come down to my PLC program and I'm going to add a contact by typing C and I'll hit control space and this brings up my device variables and my input, very first input is N2 input bit 0 and then I'll add an output by typing O and I'll go down to N6 bit 0 which is my OC, my relay output and then I'm going to add a parallel I.O. here normally open contact and that's going to be my relay output. I'm going to latch that on. So when my input turns on it automatically latches on my output and then the unlatch is going to be my second input which is N2 bit number one. At this point I'm ready to download to my PLC but let's first see what the IP address is for my controller. In this case it defaults at 192.168.250.1. I'll come up to controller, communication setup, I've got a hub, and I'll type in that address 192.168.250.1 and I'll check my communications and it tests OK. And I'll click OK, I'll go online, 
because now that uh, I've got my controller, I have this would allow me to pre-develop my program even without the controller. But now my controller came in and my NXIO. And I'm going to download to the controller. And I am done downloading. And now I'll come to my PLC program. And now I'm going to turn on my input, which will then latch my output on. My input turned on and it latched my output on. And now when I turn on bit number one for my N2, it should unlatch. And it does. And that is how to add local I.O. offline and then download to the controller.